My roommate hates my boyfriend and might have tipped over his motorcycle and destroyed his laptop. My 25 female roommates are three men from the ages of 23 to 33. We're all students with similar interests, so we have gotten along well, and I'm the newest tenant in the house. A few months ago, one of the guys, 33 male, expressed romantic feelings for me that I didn't feel back. I try to be nice about it, but I just straight up don't think he's very attractive. He doesn't use deodorant and he smells bad all the time, never brushes his teeth, and is horrible when he's drunk, and just lots more. He said he would be cool about it because we didn't want any problems with the other roommates, but he has not been cool. He has invaded my personal space and interrogated me and acted angrily towards me. As this kind of stuff kept happening, I started to get more direct and kind of rude at him at times. About a month into this situation, I started to date someone, 25 male. He gets along really well with my other two roommates, who are 23 and 27 male, and is always welcome at the house. Well, the problem roommate makes a dramatic exit from the room anytime we're all hanging out and my boyfriend is included. At first, I was trying to be understanding about his feelings, and I gave him space to do what he felt was necessary. But then he started being really mean to me in private, calling me a liar because I wouldn't give him sexual details of my relationship and saying he hates me. Next, he began talking bad about me and my boyfriend to the other guys who told me it made them uncomfortable and they don't agree with how our roommate is handling things. They say that they have never seen him like this before. After four months of this, we all think this is weird behavior. Last week, my boyfriend was over and his motorcycle was parked next to the problem roommate's motorcycle. When we got up in the morning, my boyfriend's motorcycle was tipped over on its side. He joked and said, what if it was your roommate? but then figured 10 different things that could have happened to it besides him. Then yesterday, my boyfriend's laptop had been charging in the living room next to mine. We grabbed them and head to class in the morning. Once we sat down, he opened his laptop and the screen and keyboard were wet and it was not working. There was a generous amount of water in the interior <gasps> of his machine once he took the back off. He thinks that my roommate dumped water on it. My laptop was perfectly dry and fine. One of the other guys also finds this suspicious, but we have no proof, just motive and opportunity. Damn, it's him. Mm -hmm. It has to be. So there's an update. Okay. The bad roommate just cornered me alone in the kitchen the day after I posted saying he doesn't know why I've been acting avoidant towards him. I swear to God, he didn't blink during the entire conversation and kept a direct and intimidating gaze on my face while grinding his teeth between speaking. I quickly said that I will not be speaking with him unless the other roommates are present. He got angry at it and began yelling, active aggressive and throwing his arms up in the air. I had to leave the house in a rush. I texted the other roommates what was happening and met up with one who said he will talk to the bad roommate. As we were strategizing, the bad roommate started sending me long test messages saying, if you don't reply, I'm sending this to the group chat at 7, which was a twisted, downplayed version of what had happened where he presented really nice to the others. He did eventually text the group chat with long stories and said at the end, you guys are truly my best friends and I want to do whatever I can to be back in a good place. The other good roommate got off work late, but we spoke the next morning and he said it's hard for him to know what to do because the bad roommate and I both have very different stories every time this happens. <laughs> he does not want to be part of a group conversation and suggests that we break the lease early and everyone moves out. This is nearly impossible for me financially right now, and housing is so hard to come by where we live, but I'll have to find a way in a matter of days since it's already the end of the month. Not currently staying at the house as a safety precaution, sleeping over at my boyfriend's, who did get a new laptop. Yeah, I would just stay with him. Like, better safe than sorry, girl. Yeah. My roommates, 21 female, Parents keep letting themselves into my 21 female apartment with the spare key my roommate gave them. Mm -mm. Background. My parents are family friends with my roommate's parents. I was never really friends with my roommate in high school, but got to know her from living with her in a dorm. Recently, my parents got me an apartment and pay rent every month. So pretty much my roommate's parents don't pay. Over the past few months, when we came home from class, we walked in on, one, her mom doing our laundry almost every week, two, her mom cooking food and cleaning for us, three, 
her mom cleaning my fucking closet and calling me a slut for having tube tops and mini skirts, etc. No. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Four. Her mom and dad chilling at the apartment Friday nights to make sure we don't party. What the fuck? I just can't deal anymore. I told my roommate to tell him to stop, but she said I'm overreacting. Am I overreacting? Should I tell my parents? I have literally lost my mind. Literally. Help. No. No. No, no. No, 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 no. I'm not on board. I'm not. This is this is mental. Yep. Overbearing families. Don't go into someone else's room. Like, what the hell? So there's a couple edits um, and a couple updates as well. Edit. I'm going to tell my parents about it. I just don't want to ruin their friendship as they were close friends for a long time. Mini update. I told my other brother about what happened, emailed my building manager, and was able to get a response from him seeing I can put a lock on my bedroom door. Me and my brother went to Home Depot and got a basic lock. Her mom is currently cooking in the kitchen and watching my brother fix the lock. She doesn't look too happy. I'll update you all again when I tell my parents. Okay, but like, I'm sorry. Uh, the, um... At the beginning, she said her parents got her an apartment and Mm -hmm. they pay the rent. Does this roommate not pay any rent? So the next edit is going to address that, actually. Okay. The reason my roommate isn't paying rent is because her parents hit a tough spot financially last winter and my dad wanted to ease the burden on them a little. He said... Uh, Sorry. Yeah. Because they're family friends. They're family friends. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 okay, I got it. (laughs) He said he would help out by giving my roommate a place to stay so her parents could just worry about her tuition and not room slash board. Very nice of them. It is really nice of them, yeah. Mm. Okay, so update one, which was posted in another thread. I came back from my morning run around 7 a.m. this morning and roommate's mom and roommate were in the kitchen making some coffee. She has never been here this early before. I decided to talk to them about everything prior to going to class. I started off with, hey, auntie, can we talk? In brown culture, everyone is called an aunt. And these are some points I listed. One, I appreciate that she was cooking and cleaning, but I want to do that on my own. I love to cook and I felt that I was never allowed in my own kitchen. I also told her that I want to do my own laundry and clean my room myself. Two, I don't want her in my room. I reminded her that I talked to her about this when it first happened and that's why I put a lock on the door. Three, I told her that if she wants to be with roommate, to let roommate text me and let me know that roommate's mom would be in the apartment. They expressed understanding and I hugged it out with roommate's mom. Before going to class, I put a load of laundry in. My friend is having a birthday party dinner tonight and I decided to wear this cute white dress with an open back. My mom even got this dress since she thought it was so cute and I tossed it in the washer so it could be fresh for tonight. I asked roommate's mom multiple times if she was planning on doing laundry today, and she said no. I told her that I would be back around 1 and she could do laundry when I finish mine later this afternoon if needed. I didn't want her touching my clothes. She was okay with it and said roommate didn't have laundry today. Cool. I left feeling really relieved, and I still locked my bedroom door. I got back to my apartment about half an hour ago, and I couldn't find my white dress. As soon as I came home... Roommate looked nervous. My clothes were in the dryer and I didn't do that for a fact. Roommate's mom states that I put them in the dryer and just forgot. Ugh. I locked myself in my room and I know she probably took the dress as it was something she wouldn't approve of. When I was in my room, I heard roommate's mom talking to roommate in our language. She told her daughter something along the lines of, I don't know why she's freaking out about the dress. In India, escorts and prostitutes wear those kinds of clothing. And she went on to tell roommate, I won't find a husband wearing stuff like that. I honestly think she wanted me to hear all of that. Is she seriously just being a passive aggressive bitch to me right now? I'm trying so hard not to break down and cry. I'm heading over to my parents right now and I'm telling them everything when they come back home tonight. I'll keep you posted. Good. The heck? Yeah. Don't touch my shit, man. Yep. Okay. Final update. I think roommate's mom is crazy and needs a mental health checkup. Seriously, I am worried for her well-being. My mom was home along with my brother, my brother's girlfriend, and her parents. I told them everything that happened and no one liked what they heard. My mom called my dad to tell him what happened. When my dad came home, he hugged me immediately and started crying. 
Me being called a prostitute and a slut was too much for him to handle. I've never seen my dad cry before, and it hurt me so, so bad. My mom called roommate's mom and roommate's dad and roommate to come over to talk. They came over immediately. They probably knew something was up from the tone of my mom's voice. She was so close to growling. Mom was being petty, though. When they came home, she didn't allow them inside. She made them stand on the doorstep the whole time, and I could tell this was pissing roommate's mom off. Some points of the confrontation. 1. Why are you calling my daughter these names? Roommate's mom. I didn't say anything. She's making up lies. 2. Why are you even in the apartment that much? You told us that you go there once a month to check on roommate. You also said she visits you every weekend? Roommate's mom. The kids don't know how to cook, so I help. Also, kids are busy studying, so they need it. 3. Why is a 50-year-old man in my daughter's apartment? No answer. 4. Why are you going through my daughter's stuff? Why does she need a lock? Why are you limiting my daughter's time with her friends? No answer. I shall also mention that roommate's dad was sitting in their car on the driveway during this whole confrontation. But things got heated up really quickly. Roommate's mom started insulting my parents. She said my mom is a bad mom because she never disciplined her children. She said I am unruly and that the clothes I wear are despicable. She brought up clothes a shit ton. Like, this lady is really offended by my fashion sense. This annoyed my brother and he showed roommate's mom Instagram pictures of roommate wearing more revealing clothing than me and sitting on boys' laps. Roommate's mom shut her mouth about the clothes immediately. She then proceeded to try to insult my parents' profession by saying they have God complexes. This pissed my brother off to the brink, and he replied with, You own three subways and are almost broke, but we never say anything about it. This pushed roommate's mom off the edge, and she leaned in closer to my brother and attempted to slap him. This lady tried to slap my 24-year-old brother in front of my parents. They argued more, and my mom asked, where the dress was again. This time, she walked away to their car and pulled my dress out of her purse. She came back to where we were standing and literally threw the dress in my face. My mom had no more patience left. She back slapped roommate's mom across her face. I've never seen my mom raise her hand on anyone and I burst out laughing. Even my dad had to walk back inside to keep himself from laughing in front of roommate's mom. Roommate's mom started crying and said she was going to call the cops on us. When they left, we had a big discussion. My parents were angry that I never told them about this before. They said that they got me that apartment so I could do what I wanted. They wanted me to be able to have friends over, have a place to chill, have a place without parental influence. However, they are very proud and happy with the way I dealt with the situation and said calling the cops would unnecessarily escalate the situation that could be solved by talking. Thank you for the advice. I appreciate it a lot. They were mad at my brother because they said... He shouldn't have shown those pictures of roommate because now she has to deal with that trouble at home. My parents agreed that letting roommate in my apartment without consulting me first was wrong on their part. My parents started the eviction process today. Anyways, it may be hard to believe, but I do stand up for myself a lot. It's just that in this situation, I didn't want to do anything that would offend my parents because I had respect for their friendship and I didn't want to ruin it or do something that would embarrass my parents. I learned from this, and I have growing up to do, but now that I know that I have support, I won't worry about petty shit like this later. I also don't want to live alone, so one of my best friends from high school is going to be my new roommate. No, she isn't Indian. No one is living rent-free in this situation. I would also like to say that even though I wasn't friends with roommate in high school, living with her for two years did help me make a bond with her. I don't know if we can be friends after this, but it feels bad losing a friend. I started my tattoo sleeve and my husband is mad because another man marked me. The first one I got, my husband was fine with. I told him before I reached out to the artist, showed him his Instagram, showed him the flower I was getting. After the appointment, I called him to let him know it went well. He was cool and he's a power lifter. So we talked about the gym a lot. The artist had missed a spot and let me know to come in and he would give me a good price on my next one. So I sent him a couple of things and made an appointment for two more. My arm felt so incomplete with just one. My husband knew about the appointment. The day of, he was very distant. I invited him to come with me, but he said no. 
So I left, got them done, and came home. Now it's been almost 24 hours and he has not really spoken to me. Today he came to me and said he's obsessed because I let another man mark me forever before he got to mark me. How much do you tell your spouse about your day? Like, how much detail do you go into? I tell my husband everything. I tell him about the random beetle crawling on my desk at work and I wonder how it got in. I tell him about weird phone calls I got, the snacks I ate. Maybe I overshare, I don't know. I like having that openness and transparency. I also admit I have issues with codependency and paranoia, so when he refers to co-workers only by co-worker rather than name, only tells me his day was good, doesn't mention the catered work meetings he had until they come up weeks later, and doesn't tell me about his co-workers getting him lunch or coffee or whatever um, it shows up in Venmo, it really hurts my feelings.